a cake. Now, there was this survey conducted to understand what life in the new normal could look like for Singapore. 31% okay, of Singaporeans say that they are worried about contracting the COVID-19 virus. Yeah, though 58% remain confident that Singapore is well equipped to manage the outbreak. But how long would this continue? Nobody knows. Now, two thirds of Singaporeans say that the circuit breaker measures imposed to fight the outbreak have impacted their household incomes. Even as the lift of the circuit breaker measures is inside, 40% of Singaporeans feel that their household income will get worse. And nobody knows how long this will continue. Now, if this is happening in Singapore, do you think this will happen in yes. other parts of Asia? Can you type in and let me know, do you think this will happen in other parts of Asia, in other parts of the world? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, this is why. Okay, this is the time. Right now, we want to be an entrepreneur in the new normal. Okay, do you want to know how to tap on the connected world to go global? Do you want to know how to set yourself up for multiple streams of income? If you want to know, type one. Yeah? And how to grow your business from one seed to many, from one tree into a sustainable forest. Yeah? Type one if you want. Yes. I want to, yeah? Now, I'm very grateful to have our speaker tonight as my mentor in this, in my Avita journey. He has been instrumental in many successful practinum and diamond challenges in Avita. The conciseness and clarity of his approach will blast you away and, and accelerate your success many folds. In a SAF Overseas Merit Scholar with combined honours in quantum physics and computer science from London University, after he left the army, like many of us, like many of you, he started climbing the corporate ladder. He was the regional content director of a global internet media company when he decided to start his own business. From being a skeptic in the MLM model, he is today one of the key leaders in Avita, with a network of more than 5,000 strong yeah, across Asia. He's a leader who develops leaders in his network, and that allows him to take a one-year medical leave in 2011 to travel with his family in India and Africa for various humanitarian and still earn a six-figure income despite his physical absence. Wow. He showed, us, he showed us that the concept of residual income is realistically achievable. Wow. So are you ready to hear from the speaker tonight? I'm sure you are. Yeah? Type one. Everybody type one if you want to listen to him. Yeah? Okay. So let's all welcome none other than our Pearl Ambassador, Elvin Yong. Oh, yours, Alvin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for the very kind introduction, Wendy. Very good evening, everyone. I'm very pleased to be meeting so many of you online this evening from so many countries. Now, the subject tonight is one of my pet topics. And I certainly hope that you will enjoy our short interaction this evening and take something useful away. Now, the new normal really continues to evolve as we speak right now. It's a really challenging time now, and it will only get harder in the months ahead. We see troubling headlines every single day. Governments are pumping out new budget measures. Businesses are struggling to stay afloat. The next few months, as we expanded and exhausted all the government fundings and subsidies for rental and salary, we will most likely see even more business closure and even more job losses. Now, while, while there are some positive news of vaccines starting human trials, right, in various countries, there's really every possibility that the situation will get worse before it gets 
better. Now with the second and the third waves of new infections climbing in so many countries, the danger of more lockdown is already happening. The crisis seems to really be a monster that keeps growing bigger. Now we actually live in an inflection point right now. And an inflection point is a period of enormous disruptive change to our way of life and work. Now, no one actually expected COVID-19, but this virus came along unannounced suddenly, and then our whole world is now turned upside down. This pandemic actually reminds me of another previous crisis in my own life, namely the 9-11 attack. That crisis was actually a turning point for my own life because it propelled me from being an employee onto my journey as an entrepreneur. You see, I was a typical product of the education system, raised to believe that life begins with jobs. The message was actually loud and clear from every direction, right? From parents, teacher, the media, the government, everywhere. So I was actually schooled like many others to be a job seeker, not a job creator. Now getting into a good school, you study hard, you get good grades, and then you offer yourself to the scrutiny of the job market. Find a good job with good benefits and then work hard for your promotions. Work even harder for higher pay and then work even harder if you get into a management position where you will find yourself with more money but no time at all for yourself and your family. So sometimes life seems to be destined to be pretty hard in that sense. I was then holding a respectable job as a regional content director in a MNC. And being a dot-com company, everyone really worked hard towards an IPO, public listing. We were given shares. So IPO was the goal. Getting a company listed in the stock exchange would mean that we all be rich. So I worked very long hours. Saw very little of my baby girl then who was just two years old. I would leave home before she woke up, and by the time I got home, she would be fast asleep. Then just three months before the planned IPO, very exciting, suddenly, without any warning, 9-11 happened. Well, all of us know the two planes crashed into the World Trade Center. Now, not only the building, but everything, all our lives went up in smoke. Three weeks into the, that crisis, I was called up by the president of the company, the vice president of the company. And he said to me, Elvin, you have 60 staff who reports to you across six country offices. Now upstairs decided that you can keep only six. You decide which six to keep and who to fire. That was one of the saddest moments of my life. I felt helpless for my staff and also very fearful for my own job as well. It was really painful to fire colleagues who I valued very much and for no better reason than an order from upstairs. It was also very devastating for those who got fired and many, many people now are experiencing that, especially when they have honestly worked hard work their hearts out actually, right, for the company, especially going for IPO. You're really good guys, but when you're an employee, you have no say because you don't own the job. Now, looking back, I'm actually very thankful for the crisis of 9-11. It kind of served as an inflection point for me to reflect on what I want to do in my life. So I decided then and there that I'm done with jobs. I will chart my own path as an entrepreneur, be my own boss. Now, like many people, and probably you too, I'm willing to work hard. I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to work hard. I'm, I'm honestly really willing to excel in whatever I do. But it just doesn't seem very wise to pour my life energy into a job that I would never own. One that my, I might get fired from every crisis cycle, right? Financial crisis global recession, oil crisis, geopolitical conflict, stock market meltdown, the pandemic, and there will be more pandemic and there will be more crisis to come in the future. 
it's also very obvious that as you get older, you actually be at a higher risk of being the first to be let go. And actually, you'll be the last to be considered even for a job interview. I decided that I would rather put my heart and soul into building a business that I can own. Now, this time round during the COVID-19 pandemic, the disruption is really of a scale that none of us have ever seen before. The past few months of lockdown and many more lockdowns might, be, might happen because it's so uncertain in the months ahead are really threatening businesses, big and small. Many have shut down. Many more will shut down in the coming months and gone will be millions and millions of jobs. This pandemic is actually a reset. It's an equalizer. Whether you are a white or cool, blue collar worker, whether you're senior or junior, male or female, highly qualified or otherwise, you're still, if you're still hoping for some bosses out there to pay you a handsome salary and guarantee you job security for life, I think it is time to wake up. I personally know of bosses who are now either hunting for jobs themselves or looking for new opportunities. Now, actually, I'm very glad to read last week that one of the universities in Singapore is actually encouraging and proactively creating courses to prepare their undergraduates to become entrepreneurs. We have job fast disappearing. Many who are graduating or who many who are already in the workforce will be forced to join the fast growing gig economy of contract workers. So, well, some, some people actually like the flexibility of not getting tied down to one single employer, but gig worker has a serious shortcoming. No security, no stability, and also no safety net for the long term. You see, gig contracting is actually a very good idea for business because it saves costs and it's very flexible. But really, it's not a good idea for the worker in the long run. Personally, I would rather put my heart and soul into building a business that has the potential of building up a brand, a grooming a team that will create leverage and sustainable growth together. Uh, and the business will also be scalable regionally. Uh, and you just say you transfer me the amount that came from my user. First. After 9-11, I was seriously evaluating taking up a bakery franchise. You see, a franchise business has really the advantages of an already established brand. It also has already done, created a proven operating system that I could take and run with. But my God, the investment capital was huge. A few hundred thousand dollars is required because besides the franchise fee that you need to put down, there are also the store, renovation, and then the ongoing cost of inventory. Every month, you're going to pay the renter, salary, etc. And as a franchisee, I'm limited to just one single location. And if I want to expand, not, not to talk about another country, just expand to the next, next road, you know, you have to, have, have to pay the franchisor once again. So the franchise model is actually quite a great idea for the franchisor, but I can't quite the same, say the same for the franchisee. Now, I was very lucky, actually, at that moment. Just when I was trying to decide what to do, I got to know about network marketing business. Because it actually allowed me at that point in time to compare and contrast the two business models side by side. Well, I decided not to throw 400000 of my savings into the franchise business. Instead, I started the network marketing business with just 5% of the capital required for the franchise. And it went on to earn me millions. So today, with close to 20 years of network marketing experience, I'm really very proud to have built up an international network of partners and customers. I'm honored to be serving as a mentor to many aspiring entrepreneurs who join this exciting industry every single day. During this pandemic crisis, I actually feel much more urgent than ever to help more people understand the network marketing business opportunity so that they can evaluate for themselves if this might be the right opportunity, especially in this trying period,
to jumpstart as the new entrepreneurs as compared to seeking for jobs which are no more or becoming a gig contract worker that offers no long-term security or trying to start a traditional or franchise business that incur huge capital outlay, huge ongoing costs, and therefore can be very risky. Now at this point, may I ask who among you really have the aspiration to be an entrepreneur? Type me, M-E, if you desire to own your own business, okay? To have control of your own time, to be able to choose who you wish to work with, and most importantly, to determine how much money you wish to make. Or better still, make it how many millions you wish to earn. Okay, let me see. Ah, there are quite a lot, yeah? Okay, I personally have enjoyed all the above with the Avita Network Marketing Business. I'll share with you how I did it, how I'm doing it. Now, it will be for you to evaluate for yourself if you might be a good fit for the Avita opportunities, all right? Now, firstly, there are three keys to sustainable business success. You can see on the slide there, right trend, right business model, and right people. All right, now, I will illuminate each point with direct reference to as well as with real life experiences from my own Avita network marketing business, all right? Now, Avita is a Singapore network marketing company was launched in 2007. We are celebrating our 13th year anniversary this year. In fact, next week, headquartered in Singapore, we are now expanding into 14 countries across Asia. Now, our vision is to co-create a better life and also a better world. We are very grateful to our founder and CEO, Ms. Lee Xiang Ying. Now, Ms. Lee is a leader with a big heart for not just a customer, also for all her staff and all network entrepreneurs like us. Now, she often reminds us that life is a gift, that we must never take it for granted. Therefore, Avita was really born to offer pre preventive wellness to customers and also a profitable and sustainable business platform for network entrepreneurs like me. Now, for long-term success, we have to write the right trend, employ the right business model, and also attract the right people. So let's examine what do you mean by a right trend. You see, trend is an ever-changing thing. And by understanding trend will tell you what kind of needs are emerging, and therefore, what kind of products or services will be in demand in the coming days or years. You see, if you have an average product in the right trend, it will be the best product that you can have in the wrong trend. So catching the right trend are really important. So what are some of the trends that we cannot afford to ignore today? Wellness, anything to do with preventive care, immunity enhancement will be very important now. Slowing down of aging, I'll tell you more about that in a short while, and also disease prevention. Anything that is eco-friendly is another big trend. Anything that will help the earth, you know, uh, carb zero carbon, for example, natural solutions. And also technology, an another big trend. AI, robotics, internet of things, 5G especially. So Avita, Avita writes on the fast growing trend of wellness. You see this pandemic really show us all our human basic vulnerability. You may be rich, famous, powerful, so what? To the virus, everyone is equal. Your immunity is your first and also your last line of defense. The virus is not going to go away. More mutations may come. New viruses may come about, bound to happen also in our lifetimes. And we saw that the older folks are much more vulnerable due to their poorer immunity and also age-related degenerations. So guess what? The world actually is now aging very rapidly. Everyone knows that, right? But do you know that today, People who are age 60 and older account for one out of 11 of our population. Now, every year going forward, you can see on the slide, there'll be more and more older folks 
And by 2050, which is not very far away, 30 years from now, it will be one out of five on average. And in some parts of Asia, like in Japan, it's actually one out of three. One out of three humans are age 60 and above. Some of you will be among these statistics. Some of you might be just watching people who are coming into this statistic. But having gone through this pandemic, you want to find a solution so that you don't become a burden to your family and also to the society. You don't want all the money that you earn to, to be spent on medical bills or going to the hospital. You also don't want to suffer poor health. People who think like this are in the millions and billions out there. There'll be a growing demand for sure for products to enhance immunity, to slow down aging, to prevent degenerative illnesses from joint pain to mental degradation, such as dementia, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's diseases. That's exactly why Avita exists and why our slogan say for a better life. Now, whether you're young or you're old, wellness must accompany you all through your life. And Avita is a, will be a key player in this unstoppable trend of wellness. Avita products are really an, quite an exciting suite of very advanced wellness solutions. The number one top seller is Salogen, a premium marine nutritional supplement made in Switzerland. Salogen supports our cell repair and regenerations. Actually, it helps us to slow down our aging and therefore prevent degenerative diseases, something that everybody wants now. Another product, natural growth factors, we call it NGF, it's another nutritional supplement that specializes in maintaining our nerve cells so as to prevent neural degeneration, especially amongst the fast aging populations. Meridian therapy, herbal essential oil, are another breakthrough application of TCM herbs, which will be used for preventive care and also for immunity enhancement. Avita harnesses the cutting edge biotechnology in combining the ancient wisdom of TCM and the natural healing power of herbs and plants. So that we design products that are not only effective, safe, but also very convenient for use and consumption in today's modern lifestyle. Now, wellness and healthcare are really recession-proof. In good times, you want to be healthy to enjoy life. But in bad times, all the more you cannot afford to be unwell because you have challenges to overcome. Wellness is an unstoppable trend. And the market is in every country, every city, everywhere on earth where there are humans. Now having the right product is not really a guarantee of success actually. If you put the right product into a wrong business vehicle, you won't go very far. Let's take the Salogen Swiss Marine Nutritional Supplement as an example. If I choose a traditional retail business model, say I open a shop front in the busy road of Orchard Road, let's say, in the high street, you know, I would need to contend with shop renter, paying salary to staff, spending on advertisement because otherwise nobody will know me. And yet, the reach will be just limited to one location. And the upside will be just limited to whatever the shop capacity has. Now, how different would it be if the business model behind it is an Avita network marketing model? What are the advantages of Avita network marketing business model? Okay, let me run through a few points. Very crucially important, for number one. Straight away, is it attracted me because it is very low capital investment. You see, unlike franchise, there's no franchise fee, no capital needed for storefront, no renovation needed, no warehousing, no logistics, no recurrent costs in salary, rental, utility. To get started as an Avita entrepreneur, you simply invest only in stock that you will consume and retail. So for illustration, I'll use my own case, yeah? So you, you could see how my, my, my journey, okay, I has a journey through. So I started up in Avita with what we call a direct go stock pile, okay? And the only other investment, which is absolutely a must, is to invest in my own 
self development and skill training. Number two, mentoring and training will be provided. You see, not many of us are so experienced, so wise that you get started in a business, you know exactly what to do. So in Avita, your background, your qualification and prior experiences are all not relevant at all. As long as you're willing to learn and you're willing to work hard, you have mentors who will coach you and train you to become competent and become successful. So my upline mentor uh, in, in what you see here is Pauline and Josephine, both of them whom are also in the Zoom here. They train me on the product knowledge because initially when I first joined, I knew nothing, right? So, and then I went on to share with my friends who have a health needs, right? Who have a wellness requirement. Soon enough, I started to grow a customer base. I serve them well. They are happy. And I'm also very happy because my business start to take off. Number three, leverage with a capital L. Okay, you leverage your company for all the corporate functions, the traditional uh, business functions like product R&D, manufacturing, certification of the product, logistic, shipment, accounting, commission payout in multi-currency, and most importantly, a business platform that you can franchise and yet also you can franchise out to other business partners. So in the illustration, you could see that with further coaching from my mentor, I became effective at sharing the Avita opportunities with friends, especially friends who are open to exploring businesses, friends who are looking for an alternative career. And soon I began attracting like-minded friends to join me as my business partner. You see, having partners to work with are really, is really magical and powerful. Teamwork is a great leverage to get more done faster. You should also leverage your mentor because they have a lot of valuable experiences in the business so that you do not go the long journey. Yeah, you can shortcut by leveraging their know-how and their skill set. And number four, there's no limit to your earning potential. Let me repeat, there's no limit to your personal earning potential in Avita. The Avita compensation plan is completely transparent. You decide how big a network you aspire to build how much money you wish to make. With consistent effort, that's important. You will have a growing customer base. And then you'll be, begin to train a team of competent business partner who will in turn grow more consumer and also train even more business partner. And your network continue to grow this way and merger and grows not only wider, but also deeper and your earning potential also grow accordingly. Number five, scalable. I think this is really important in today's world because today, for example, everyone young and old, tech or non-tech before, because of this pandemic, everyone become really internet savvy, social media savvy, virtual conferencing savvy. Just look at how many friends you have on Facebook and Instagram account and count the different countries they come from. And now take a moment to just imagine how many of you friends, each of your friends are in turn connected to. Now, if you imagine a little, you begin to see how your network business can actually scale up and grow internationally. The network growth effect is actually a phenomenon that very few of us ever experience in employment, in a job, or even in traditional business. On the other hand, the COVID-19 virus know this business model very well. You see, one in fact five, five in fact 25, and then the cluster keep growing and growing and growing. Your Avita business can expand just like that, but in a positive way, yeah? Creating more good health and greater prosperity, not sickness, yeah? So on the Avita business platform, you can connect friends, and also friends of friends, in 14 countries across Asia. Now, these 14 countries have a combined market size of 2 billion people. 2 billion people. You have the opportunity to build a truly multinational business, generating multiple streams of income from different countries. You see, 
I personally don't speak Japanese and I never had any friends in Cambodia. But now my network has already expanded into Japan and Cambodia because of not my direct connection, but because of indirect connections. So expanding your network into different country also means that you can diversify your income sources, which in the long run, it means a stronger financial security. Now from the illustration, you can see clearly why we call it network marketing, right? Actually, you think about it, all mega successful brands and businesses are some form of network or others. Esso, for example, is a network of petrol kiosks. McDonald, KFC, Jollibee, they are all food and beverage networks. Apple sells all their computer and iPhone through a network of stores and channels. Alibaba, Amazon, TikTok, Facebook, they are all powerful networks and they are all mega businesses. Now, you too can have a chance to own a mega business just like that because network marketing allows you to expand and grow a network. Now, right products are good stuff that people want. Right business model like network marketing is a good means to get into the market. Now, these two alone wouldn't add any values to the marketplace. You need the third key, which is the right people. Are you the right people? Are you the right person? Can I see whether you are a right person or not? If you are a right person, you type, yes, I am, right? Or just yes, okay? You just type yes, right? That you are a right person. Oh, I see a lot of right person. Oh, nobody actually will say that you are not the right person, right? right? You see, one of the reasons why many people are actually fearful of starting a traditional business huh, is because it's actually really very tough to be able to know and do everything by yourself, like Superman, Franchising actually makes owning a business a lot simpler. But provided you have lots of money to invest and, and continue to burn, right? Now, network marketing is actually a further refinement to the franchise innovation. Network marketing offers everyone a chance to build and own a business from scratch with very low capital. And through word of mouth and connections, no need advertisement and advertisement and, and branding, that kind of marketing spend like spend in on radio, TV or whatever. You can build a network with unlimited upside potential. It grow organically from the very small, from one person, you, and then it can grow into 100 and then grow into 1,000 and grow into 10,000. It allows people like you and I to actually invite like-minded friends, yeah? People who you like to work with, right? to join hands together, to co-build a network enterprise together. For mutual benefits, I win, you win. And our customer win. Right? It's a double, triple win. Eh? No more hiring, firing people. No more boss and subordination relation, uh, subordinate relationship. And also no more concern of cost overhead, right? renter, salary. But you have the flexibility to also start part-time, grow your business, and then transition into full-time. So what's my definition of right people? I know every one of you think that you are a right person. Right? I don't mean asking for CVs, checking off their qualifications, or check the background, or past job references. No, actually, to me, anyone who has the desire to be an entrepreneur, anyone who has a dream to live out, anyone who is coachable and willing to keep trying until it gets better, I tell you, all these are the attribute of a right person because you will have the right potential to succeed in Abita. In Actually, in today's era, there's actually no superman. But every single one of us is super in our own way. That's a saying that's a, that goes, if you want to go fast, go by yourself because you don't need to consult anybody. But if you wish to go far, go with a team because there's power in there. So in Avita, we believe in teamwork. Working together, we allow everyone to play to his strength. Yeah, we support each other to keep improving themselves. You see, money that you earn, uh, you can spend it or be taken away by someone. Uh, but the knowledge and the skill set that you acquire, the experience that you accumulate will make you a better person and a much more capable entrepreneur that will go international. Now, let me show you how we support you in the Vita business. 
when you join Avita, we support you with a combination of individual mentoring, team support, group training, online events, we leverage regional networks, and we use a real-time business system for, for performance tracking. Okay, this is provided by the company. And for regional expansion, we will travel in teams to support our net, our, all our networks in different countries. Uh, now we can't travel, but we are all really looking forward to be able to travel and meet all our good friends uh, in the region soon. Yeah, We also hold re, re, very regular entrepreneurial conferences, submit training programs, seminars for personal development, and especially leadership development. Now, even though we are unable to meet face-to-face -face right now, and for the past few months, we continue to build our business and we continue to support one another over Zoom. Interestingly, like I say, since the pandemic has, has actually forced almost everyone okay, to be familiar with virtual conferencing, we're actually finding that out that um, our online seminar like tonight, actually reaching out to an even wider audience, international audience. Right? Tonight, for instance, we have a very international audience. I know of uh, friends even from Africa, from Kenya are logging in, yeah? I'm sure some of the new friends listening tonight will go on to create success story in the days ahead. Now to start building your Avita international network, it's actually quite simple and no fuss, okay? I'll give you one of many formulas, all right? Now you don't need to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars. You don't need any qualifications or work experience. All you need to do is one, two, three, yeah? One, select a business startup product pack, okay? They are all below 2,000. You can get started as, as small as below 2,000. Get trained by your mentor, number two. And then number three, go ahead and share with five friends who you like and help them to do exactly the same like you. In other words, you start planting five seeds uh, and then see how the network growth effect will earn you your first 10,000 Singapore dollar income within a few months. More will be revealed to you when, if you're interested, we will, we will go through this basic seed pr business program as well as other more advanced business program with you in person. Yeah? Now, personally, I'm really grateful to the Avita opportunity for the lifestyle that I enjoy today, for the time flexibility, not only just financial abundance, you have the money, that's good, but you also should have the time flexibility. I wouldn't say time freedom as in you don't do anything, yeah? But you have the time flexibility to be with your children. I saw my girl grow up all the way from primary school, secondary school. I'm always with her in schools. And that's really important, yeah? Because I have the flexibility to do that. I really treasure that. And actually, there are many success stories to tell. But I would like to highlight one of my associates who inspired me tremendously. Her name is Tan Hui Kiong. Now, born in Malaysia, and I'm with only secondary school education. She came to Singapore at the age of 19 yeah, and started her career as an operator earning a monthly salary of only 450 Singapore dollar. Well, she spent the next 26 years, 26 years climbing the corporate ladder, attending night classes, get more paper qualification, and eventually she became a customer service officer with a monthly salary of 3,000 Singapore dollar. Well, from 450 to 3,000, at that point, Hui Kiong was 45 years old by then. She felt that that was it. She had reached the ceiling and there would be no possibility for her to earn beyond 3,000 or get prom further promotions. Hui Kiong saw that as a maximum market value. Well, not until she was introduced to Avita by a cousin-in-law. I'll show you that Hui Kiong worked hard in Avita and she grew her network business. And in three years, she achieved breakthroughs in her income. In fact, double the 3,000 ceiling that she thought she would be have, have already reached. And then at age 47, she set a daring goal to hit 15,000 Singapore dollar a month by the time she turned 50 years old. Now this year, 2020, Hui Kiong is turning 50. Well, the good news is Hui Kiong hit her 
record monthly commission month, one month, 34,000. Way before that, in 2018. Huikyong is just one of many successful network entrepreneurs in Abita. If you have a reason to explore this opportunity for yourself, you have the chance in a while to actually interact with Hui Kiong and other successful entrepreneurs and mentors who come from all walks of life. Now, the Avita Network is actually a microcosm of a macrocosm. We have former lawyers, we have former engineer, accountant, soldiers, and we also have homemaker, we have golfers, we have nurses, we have doctors, we also have students. You will have the chance to actually meet some of them in the breakout room now. Feel free to just interact with them. Ask them any question that you may have. Seek their, their advice. Ask them about their experiences. All this is to help you to evaluate this opportunity for yourself. Now, I'm not saying this opportunity is right for every single individual. But you alone will be the best person to evaluate and ask more questions and figure out if, you, if this opportunity is something that you should seize and fly with, okay? So we shall now break out uh, for 15 minutes for a quick round of discussion, okay? Before returning here to conclude for this evening. Now you don't need to do anything. The breakout room will actually happen automatically. So we'll see you back here in about 15 minutes time, all right? Okay, I think um, Chongping, could you do the breakout room um, magic for us now? <laughs> 